Hello my scholars, welcome to my school channel. My name is Alexandra and we'll be tackling jump past question for the subject English language year 2016. Don't go anywhere, stay with us because we'll be right back. my school channel so yeah we'll be tackling question 21 to 40. now let's jump right into question 21. for this question select the option that best explains the information conveyed in the question by refusing the offer he has just cut down his own truth option a he has made a big mistake option b he has made the right decision option c he has given up on his idea option d he has used the knife on his truth. Now, what does cut down his own truth means? It means that to bring about one's downfall by one's action. Okay, so judging from my explanation, we can see that option A best interprets this um, statement. So he has made a big mistake. Option A, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 22. This job cuts are just the thin end of the wedge. Option A, job cuts are very rampant. Option B, job cuts are the inconclusive. Option C, job cuts are the beginning of unpleasant situations. Option D, job cuts are the beginning of LD rivalries. Now, the answer to this question is option B, job cuts are the inconclusive. Now, what does this idiom mean? Because in a question, we've been asked to provide the best interpretation for this question. Okay, so the thing end of the wedge means that something is not important at the moment. So at that moment, that thing is not important. Now, when we say inconclusive, it means not leading to a conclusion or a result. Okay, so that issue or that idea is indecisive, decision has, has not been taken and all of that. So when something is not important, important at the moment, you might not make decision about it. You might not conclude or make conclusions about it. So option B is the best answer to this question. Question 23. Jumai would do well if she was given a fair crack of the whip. Option A, she would do well if she was given a fair whip. Option B, she would excel if she used the whip well. Option C, she would do well if she was given equal opportunity. Option D, she would do well if she was made to cry. The answer to this question is option C, if she was given equal opportunity because a fair crack of the whip means an equal chance okay to do something so option c is the correct answer to this question question 24 our debt was a bolt from the blue to us option a our debt bolted us together option b our debt caused confusion option c our debt sealed our hopes option d her debt was unexpected the answer to this question is option d our debt was unexpected a bolt from the blue means sudden unexpected okay so option d is the correct answer to this question question 25 from the question select the option that best explains the information conveyed in the question the students were nosing around option a they were roaming about option b they were searching for information option c they were playing around option d they were disseminating information now the answer to this question is option b why because nosing around means to search for a hidden information okay so option b clearly conveys this interpretation they were searching for information option b therefore is the correct answer to this question do not forget to take practice questions with our simulated jam activity past questions all you need to do is you click on the link in the description below it takes you to the my school website there you can download my school mobile app for your android phones and as well download my school software for your computers and laptops so please go ahead and download and start practicing those questions now moving on to question 26 for this question choose the option opposite in reading to the word or phrase in italics it is important not to let mistakes blight your life option a damage option b impact option c improve option d ruin now the word italized is blight and blight means to damage now we can see damage in option one synonymous to the word blight 
and green is also synonymous to the word light. Okay, this question has asked me to choose the option opposite in meaning, and the word is improve. So option C is the correct answer to this question. So if you are enjoying this content, do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 27. For this question, choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. The film was shot in decrepit police station. Option A, an improved. Option B, a damaged. Option C, an impoverished. Option D, a dilapidated. The answer to this question is an improved. Option A, deprecated means simply means damaged or worn out. And we can see that option B and D is synonymous to the word decrepit. Now, an impoverished means poor. Okay, so option A is the correct answer to this question. Question 28. For this question, choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. Jimoka is fond of capping a sister. Option A, praising. Option B, joking with. Option C, complaining about. Option D, faulting. Now, the answer to this question is option A, praising. Why? Because capping means difficult to please. Okay, so we can see that complaining about faulting as synonymous to this word. But the question says we should choose the option opposite in meaning, and the opposite is praising, not joking with. Praising is the opposite or the best answer to this question. Question 29. For this question, choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. A cup of coffee invigorated him. Option A, destroyed. Option B, energized. Option C, angered. Option D, debilitated. The answer to this question is debilitated. Okay, debilitated means to weaken. Okay, invigorated is energized, to be full of energy. So this is the opposite meaning, and option D, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 30. For this question, choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. It is ludicrous to suggest that she was a government agent. Option A, odd. Option B, exciting. Option C, farcical. Option D, sensible. The answer to this question is sensible because ludicrous means foolish or unreasonable. Sensible has to do with something that's full of wisdom. So option D is the correct answer to this question. However, when we think of the word odd, it's awkward. Farcical is also synonymous to the word ludicrous because it has to do with something that is absurd, okay, or ridiculous. But exciting is something that's full of um, joy, happiness, and all of that. So option D, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 31. For this question, choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. The idea makes me cringe. Option A, quiver. Option B, tremble. Option C, resolute. Option D, write. Now, the answer to this question is resolute because the word cringe means to bend in fear. Okay, and we can see option A, B, and D is synonymous to the word cringe because that's the way bending your body or twisting your body in fear or in pain. So the word resolute here means to be determined, to be purposeful. So when we think of the word resolute, we think of determined. Okay, so option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 32. For this question, choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. His book was one of those that galvanized democracy. Option A, stimulated. Option B, encouraged. Option C, dissuaded. Option D, promoted. The answer to this question is dissuaded because dissuaded means to discourage someone from taking action. However, galvanized means to encourage or excite someone into taking actions okay so we can see that option a b and d are kind of synonymous to the word galvanized except for dissuaded option c therefore is the opposite in meaning to the word galvanized question 33 for this question choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics it works in a gawky way. Option A, suitable. Option B, clumsy. Option C, lumbering. Option D, graceful. The answer to this question is graceful. Graceful means elegance. Okay, so that's what it means because gawky uh, means um, awkward. And we can see the option B and C synonymous to the word gawky. That makes option D the best answer to this question. Question 34. 
For this question, choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. The nation is in a period of economic flux. Option A, modification. Option B, change. Option C, fluidity. Option D, stability. The answer to this question is stability. Why? Because flux means change. And stability means something to be stable or steady. Okay. So option D, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 35. For this question, choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. Our son was highly active and exuberant. Option A, subdued. Option B, fulsome. Option C, lively. Option D, bright. The answer to this question is subdued. Why? Because exuberant means full of energy, excitement, or cheerfulness. Okay, but subdued yeah, means to be quiet, reserved, or depressed. So option A is the opposite in meaning to the word exuberant. Therefore, it is the final answer to this question. Are there questions in your mind you would like to ask? You can go ahead and ask your questions by using the link in the description below. Click on this link. It takes you to my school website. There you can ask as many questions as possible and solutions will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now moving on to question 36. For this question, choose the option nearest in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. Mr. Ojo has a fickle character. Option A, a genuine. Option B, a stable. Option C, an imperfect. Option D, an unpredictable. Option D is the correct answer to this question. Do not forget the instruction says we should choose the option nearest in meaning. The word fickle here means change. Okay, so un unpredicted also implies that this thing is not stable it's it's likely to change you can't determine um what it is okay so option d is the correct answer to this question do you have better steps explanation or solution to any of this question you can share it with us by using the comment section below indicate the questions and the solutions you would like to share question 37 bola takes dash is father both in appearance and is manners option a on option b from option c after option d upon now in this question we are we are asked to fill in the gap the best answer or the best option to that to complete this statement or this question now when you take a look at this question you see that it's it needs a phrasal verb it's a phrasal verb a combination of a verb and a preposition so the right word here is takes after Option C is the, the correct answer to this question simply because take after means to resemble. Do not forget that phrasal verbs usually have their meanings different from words in isolation also. So take af takes after look means resembles. So option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 38. Dash reach has its own problem. Option A being, option B being, option C on being, option D on being. The answer to this question is option A B. Now, first and foremost, being is a present participle that shows a continuous or progressive tense. So, it's a verb. Then, being is also a verb, but in its past participle, and it usually comes after the auxiliary verb as an have. For example, we have been cooking, he has been cooking. Okay. So, this is a verb showing past tense, and it's a past participle. However, there are some verbs that can be classified or used as a noun, and they are called gerunds. So gerunds are verbs in their continuous um, form, but then function as a noun in a sentence. And option A is an example of a gerund. Okay, we can we can have having H A V I N G as a gerund. So it's a verb originally, but then it can function as a gerund or a noun in a sentence. So option A is the correct answer because it's functioning, or we need a noun in this um, sentence. So being rich has its own problem. Option A, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 39. For this question, choose the option that best completes the gap. The doctor listening to my ask me with a dash. Option A, cardiograph. Option B, stethoscope. Option C, chromometer. Option D, microscope. The answer to this question is stethoscope. Stethoscope is a medical instrument used to listen to the heartbeats. However, cardiograph is a machine used to record heartbeats. Chromometer is um, used to determine colors and microscope is an instrument used to enlarge very tiny objects or to see very tiny objects. So option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 40. 
For these questions, choose the option that best completes the gap. With strong determination, Adamu was able to dash the problem. Option A, surmount. Option B, surpass. Option C, the third. Option D, the known. Now, this, in this question, the correct answer to this question is surmount because surmount means to overcome. Now, when you look at the contents of this question, you will see that the question entails one overcoming a problem. So, option A is the correct answer to this question. We've come to the end of this segment and I believe you enjoyed it. But do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.